Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so okay, you're here to talk about a number of things, so let's start with Twina. Twina, or uh, Chinese manual medicine, is uh, one of the modalities that uh, mm -hmm. makes up uh, traditional Chinese medicine as a medical system. Um, Twina itself um, is uh, manual therapy where we use um, hands to treat uh, muscles, joints, skin, uh, bones, and it has uh, several submodalities medical acupressure. Uh, Chinese medical massage, um, joint and bone manipulation therapy, and internal organ manipulation therapy. Okay. Explain, I guess, what I'm wanting to hear is the theory behind it um, and how it's different from a regular massage because you guys do things differently. I mean, you view the, the body as multidimensional. I mean, you have internal channels, superficial channels. Uh, absolutely. Um, um, so Tuna is not only mechanical, where we mechanically manipulate soft tissue, muscles, um, joints. He also looks at the flow of the blood and chi. He has a very defined traditional Chinese medicine diagnosis. He uses special herbal topicals, of which some of, uh, we have here. Um, so what is that? Um, this is a, a special medicinal oil. Mm -hmm. He has uh, several herbs in it. Uh, he has a myrrh, frankincense. All our uh, all those herbs are anti-inflammatory, pain relieving, and they increase circulation, which is very important. So uh, with that, they regulate tissue, muscles, joints, and other structures. Mm -hmm. And so the Twina massage also helps to move the energy. It definitely does. It moves what we call chi or, or omnipotent energy. So in addition of mechanically manipulating a soft tissue and, and, and the joints, it actually moves energy within the blood uh, to augment the health, to treat the conditions. So. After all, the Chinese medicine is energetic medicine. It is. I found something is interesting. Um, in China, archaeologists studying inscriptions found on bones and tortoise shells used for divination purposes, because divination was huge in the Chinese culture, um, found reference to massage treatment for illness dating back to the Shang Dynasty, 1600 BC. So one of the questions went like this. This was you know, carved on a tortoise shell way back when, thousands of years ago. Can a noble man's abdominal pain be successfully treated um, with massage? Absolutely. What else? Are, what other indications are there? Well, uh, um, most of the uh, treatment that people know and, and massage treats is musculoskeletal. It can also treat internal um, organ problems such as uh, digestive issues, um, gynecological problems, circulatory problems, as well as respiratory problems. Okay, and you have a, a host of hand techniques called, is it Shofa? Shofa is a Chinese name for hand techniques that we use in, in Tuina. Um, they used usually on upper and lower body. Um, they resemble therapeutic massage that we have here in Canada, but they go beyond that. They use combination of acupressure, joint uh, movement, and uh, soft tissue manipulation. Wonderful, we have a phone call. Uh, Adriana? <coughs> Hi. Hi. What's Hello. your question? Um, does Chinese massage work good for kids? That's a great question. Absolutely. One of the most famous branches of Tuina is pediatric massage. Um, in, in Chinese it's called shower, which means a small person massage. It's actually something that children prefer in treatment. They don't like needles and herbs, but they love being touched and massaged. Nice. Okay, why don't you show us some shofa <laughs> techniques? Absolutely. It's my pleasure. So, uh, for example, when we're treating conditions like a golf elbow or tennis elbow, mm -hmm. in a regular massage, we would usually just massage the local area where it is around the elbow. In Tuina, in addition of compressing the area, we would move the joint, um, stimulating the um, circulation around, uh, gently extending and compressing the area all the way. Um, when we're treating actually the joints, uh, we would uh, relax the joint um, while we uh, s uh, use a harmonic technique that opens the joint itself. So in the case, for example, of carpal tunnel, uh, very much condition that office workers are plugged by, uh, we would use this harmonic technique to open it. We would also follow this by one of these uh, lotion and Chinese medical ointments before and after. So there's a medicinal um, action working on the muscles in addition of using um, uh, Chinese Tuina techniques, such mm -hmm. as this one. This one is called Ro Fa, which means the rolling, and it's not present in the Western massage. How does that feel, Lee? Oh, that's very relaxing. Thank you, Lee. Very relaxing. So these are some of the techniques that uh, Tuina uses. Um, 
combine um, to treat soft tissue bones and the joints mm -hmm. at the same time. And some of the t techniques um, are yin in nature and yang in nature. So some are what reducing and some are stimulating. Absolutely, some of the techniques. Can work. you demonstrate either? Yes, the the yin techniques are usually very gentle, very slow, and involve sometimes holding the position for a while, gently repositioning the uh, ligaments, fascia, and uh, and flow of the chi and blood. Uh, the more vigorous one would look like something, as I mentioned it, like a rofa, uh, cupping and shaking of the joint. So what they do, they stimulate the blood flow much faster, increasing the local and systemic circulation mm -hmm. and reducing the pain. Mm. One of the, uh, the techniques that I love when I um, have Twina done on me is when they clap like that and then they start knocking. Yeah. <laughs> can you show that Absolutely. so viewers can see? So, um, so that technique creates the vacuum between the palms yeah. and it's used to uh, gently uh, but firmly work over the larger area. And it really wakes you up. It does, <laughs> yet despite the look it doesn't hurt at all. No, it doesn't. It's yeah. quite sedating actually. Yeah. Uh, what I love about uh, Twina, what I often use is to assess the treatment protocol prior to treating the, the patient on the table. So if I could just demonstrate on Zoran's back, along the, the entire spinal column there's the different segments of the vertebra and in between each of the particular segments mm -hmm. it relates and reflects to a specific organ within the body. So as I'm going along on Zoran's back and the spine in between there's going to be specific areas that will be tender for him. Now when we're going in and we're massaging just circular motions and any particular area that Zorn will say, oh that's a little tender to me, you know, what, what, what do you think is going on there? Mm -hmm. So with particular points it could be in regards to the blood, it could be regards to the heart, it could be regards to the liver. So if any area we go run along from the base of the neck all the way down to the tailbone there. I would just get you to turn back around. And that will give us an idea of where to really focus on the treatment for that particular session. So that's very interesting. So let's say the, the liver um, is at T9. I don't know, is it? Is it at T9? Let's just yes. assume it is. Okay, it was a yep, great just guess. Under, yes, <laughs> okay. just under the level. So T9. when you press that for the tweena massage um, and it feels mushy, is that the sign then that there's something maybe superficial or internal going on in the liver? So again it would depend on again the tongue diagnosis the pulse, pulse diagnosis everything in conjunction so we're looking at the entire picture yeah. and then systematically we would treat according to that in terms of palpating and feeling for the different uh, textures in the skin that also gives us a, a sign of what is going on internally externally as well but we're also looking for feedback from the patient to help delineate where the treatment focus is going to be on as well. Sure, and all those organs on the back are related to the meridians that you're going to, you know, probably Absolutely. needle Absolutely. after. Absolutely, yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the Wang Di Nei Jing, <laughs> which is the Yellow Emperor's classic, right, of uh, internal medicine. It dates back to 2300 BC. So this is a, a classic text in your field. It's a conversation between the Yellow Emperor and Qi Bo, Q-I. Qi Bo. Um, the Yellow Emperor asks Chibo, how should mild invasion by external evils be needled? Chibo replies, the massage time should be increased and the needling should not be too deep. By bringing Chi to the area of insufficiency, the spirit will recover. First, I just want to comment, like this dialogue thousands of years ago is highly intelligent. It makes me wonder where this civilization came from, but that's a whole other show. My question in regards to this is, what are external evils and is Twina used today to offset these external evils? Sorry. Absolutely. Um, those external evils will be something we would call today atmospheric factors. So uh, Chinese are very particular, they name them uh, as uh, wind, heat, cold, um, dryness. All these uh, environmental factors can uh, invade our body in the sense of it that let's say if we're sweaty and we're outside with not enough clothing on us um, and it's damp outside, the moisture will be absorbed by the tissue and in Chinese medical pathology there will be an issue of uh, moisture and dampness invading the body. So therefore the treatment would be adjusted to be a longer to promote the sweating and bring the moisture out and therefore uh, deal with the pathogen. Nice. What, quickly, what do you like best about Twina, both of you? <laughs> um, well, it's, it's gentle. 
mm -hmm. um, he adapts to the patient. It's it's very personalized form of treatment. And people appreciate that. Yeah, it's very relaxing technique, and you can feel the difference before and after the session, after the Twina, and they can often tell you, I feel much better. After that, and mm -hmm. people notice there's a difference between Twina and a regular massage? Absolutely. The techniques are very different. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's, it's more, more versatile. Right. It deals with more right. modalities. We'll be back more uh, on TCM on Health Matters.